Hi, how's it going? Fine, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you very much for taking the time to do this interview. All right. Well, awesome. Well, it's uh, great to be able to talk to you and talk about this amazing new album I've been able to check out over the past week now with The God Machine coming out the 2nd of September through Nuclear Blast. Yeah, well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I Like I said, I've gotten the chance to be able to check this out over the past week, and mm -hmm. I've been listening to it every day, and it's just slowly becoming my favorite Blind Guardian album to date. I love everything that's going on here. I love the intensity that's going on. I love uh, uh, the dynamics of everything. I love the themes that's going on. Just It just feels like a perfect Blind Guardian album at the right time. Oh, that's good to hear. I mean, <laughs> it's uh, it's always difficult for us um, to come up with an album um, which is like um, kind of new, but um, also um, yeah, featuring the, the the strengths of Blind Guardian, of course. And um, yeah, I think with this um, album we found a really good balance. Um, it has really a great power and and lots of energy, as you said. Um, and yeah, what I like is that um, I think we we will surprise our fans with this album a lot because um, it doesn't continue uh, where we stop with uh, Beyond the Red Mirror. Uh, it's really going a kind of different direction. Uh, it is fresh. It has new ideas and. Um, I don't think that the, the fans will really expect this. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm really curious about the reactions. But to hear from you that you say um, it compete, can compete with our um, best albums, then I'm already really, really happy. Well, I'm glad to do that. And I'm, I'm glad to make you happy hearing that because I truly do mean it. I mean, when you got such great singles that have already been released, and I don't even feel like those are the best songs on the album that have been released so far. I mean, that, you got to wait for the whole album to be able to get yeah. that full experience. And I love that so much because the singles are great in and of themselves. Yeah, the, I, I always, I'm more the album kind of guy anyways. Um, I'm not so much into listening just to one song. I think um, it is the combination of all songs that, that uh, uh, and, and all songs have to add their own little attitude um, to make a, an album a strong album. And I think um, for now, you saw maybe the faster songs that we put out in the singles and Okay, American, so uh, American Gods uh, is already a little bit progressive, but the real, let's say, the new elements and, and the new um, um, progression I see more in songs like um, Life Beyond the Spears or Destiny. And um, of course, we have these um, elements featured uh, in the new album as well. So it's, it's not just going back in time and trying... Um, to be uh, to get back to speed metal it's also the typical blind guardian progression you you will find here and um, and transferring speed metal to the to the new time it, it's not just old-fashioned speed metal songs but i think you can hear all the experience um, that we gathered through the um, through all the years and um, so this is speed metal how it should sound in 2022 and um, uh, I think that that is really important as well that you don't just to be your own ripoff and uh, try to copy yourself but move forward and make it sound authentic for the for the moment for the for the time we live in now. Oh, I couldn't agree more. And uh, you've absolutely nailed it when it comes to that and everything you've been talking about. And, you know, it's just like, it's it's great too, because I mean, you're not just showing off the speed metal sides or the progressive sides. I mean, you got like a great ballads on here, like Let It Be No More. I feel like everyone is going to sing when they hear that song for the first time. <laughs> I think it's going to rival like the Bard song for just like the crowd participation when that finally hits the live setting. Yeah, I mean it's it's always um, uh, difficult with a with a let's say ballad kind of moods. Um, of course, the bard so song is is legendary, and yeah, and everybody knows that song. Um, and we feel like like having a slower song on the album 
um, because it's, it's the mixture. If you have so many fast songs and um, I always like to have something mid tempo and something slow as well. And um, yeah, this one came out really sad and, and really emotional. Um, when I listen to it, it, it really moves me. I don't know. I got the goose, goosebumps in the, in the chorus part. It's, uh, Hansi found some really great melodies and um, I, I think that song is really emotional and um, of course we um, Hansi and me we both had our own um, feelings at that time that we put in the song and um, we both connect connected to different things let's say um, yeah uh, but I think it, it fits perfect because it, it's give it gives you a little calm time after all that aggression and all that super energy you will have a, a moment when you can just let your, your let yourself fall down and um yeah um be a little bit more relaxed before before we start moving on with the faster stuff it's i think it's it's about the album balance and yeah fits fits in nice well quite nice i think oh absolutely and i i love how you mentioned it before and i think it bears repeating is that's this really does feel like a full album it's not just a collection of songs like yeah. you can listen to this from start to finish and it's got such a great ebb and flow to it great peaks and valleys uh such great dynamics and you really do get that full experience when you listen to the whole album rather than just a couple singles rather yeah. than just the b-sides i mean it takes the whole thing to really be able to appreciate every song yeah exactly and and we took a big focus this time on exactly the, this experience we wanted this experience so um i don't know how many how many orders of the songs we tried and uh um we really wanted to fit each ending to each new beginning of the song so we tried i don't know hundreds of variations before we thought, okay, now it has the perfect flow from one song to the other, and it's building a dynamic, it's telling a story, and even even that it's not a concept album, you have the feeling it is a concept album um, because it has has such a good flow. And yeah, we had we had variation um, in the songwriting already. We had we had um, some other songs that we were working on, and um, we really really uh, um, tried to choose only the right songs that fit best to each other and leave everything else out. Um, and, and that's why we even came to the conclusion that, that an album doesn't need to be uh, like a, a, a 70 minutes or something to be, to be awesome or perfect. Um, in the old days, you, you had great albums that were probably, probably um, 35 minutes, 40, 40 minutes in vinyl, ti uh, vinyl times. And um, we were trying to, to find um, the reason why these albums are, are still the ones uh, that the albums that are in your top, top 50, you know. And um, yeah, it's, it's this balance, it's that combination. And it's better to have really a compact album, 50 minutes, than overload it with stuff. And in the end, you are... Uh, you are not really getting into it because it's so overloaded with everything. And we think this album is not overloaded. This is really clear and and structured and organic. And, and that was really important for us. Oh, absolutely. And I, I appreciate that it's just around 50 minutes. And it do, it does yeah, it doesn't feel like there's any filler of any kind on here. Just every song yeah. that's on this record is meant to be on this record. And one important thing that is is just so important when it comes to an album like this is replay value this is the kind of album where as soon as you're done you want to be able to go and start right back over with deliver us from evil yeah <laughs> yeah exactly uh well i mean i hope that that it really works like this for the for the fans um because it works like this for us and um i had exactly this feeling uh, during the whole mixing time and um yeah um uh, <laughs> I hope it works. 
So, you know, in speaking of that as well, too, I mean, with obviously with how hands on you are with the entire band, like uh, with the songwriting, the mixing, everything that goes into it. I mean, what was it like to start writing for this album? I mean, obviously, with the previous album being such a great orchestral piece, I mean, what was it like to be able to write something like this this time around? Well, um, um, let's start at the um end of the tour for the Beyond the Red Mirror when Hansi and me immediately um, dived into some songwriting, uh, which was pretty cool because we took some energy from the from the um, audience with us of this tour that ended in 2017. And, and yeah, um, you still have all these impressions from the tour and, and we wanted to bring this energy um, back with us and and put it in a song and um so yeah we uh uh started pretty early but we really had didn't make a plan where to go we didn't have any clue um what the outcome would be we just collected ideas and stuff and um as as always the songs came out very very different um and then um at a certain point, we wrote Violent Shadows. And um, um, a little bit later, um, the uh, opportunity came up to play up uh, to play on the uh, Wacken Worldwide on this uh, digital uh, show. And we said, hey, let's just play Violent Shadows. It's new. Let's surprise the people. And, and we did. And everybody went crazy about that song and they said wow that is the blind guardian we want to hear that is so cool you you go back to brutal and hard <laughs> and and for us um at this at this time we were still working on the orchestral project and um, um and it was clear that since we worked so many months so intense with orchestra I didn't want to see or hear any orchestra after this. So, so this writing an epic song was a no-go for me. And so it was very natural um, to, to get the balance with more brutal stuff or more speed st stuff. And that's um, where, we, where we put the focus after a while. We really liked it. We really enjoyed it. This pure energy and just the, the pure band. And... And then the Corona thing came up and, and at the same time we had time to rehearse and um, we used that, that time. We tried to play the songs, we, uh, we felt the band and then automatically this speed metal approach and that, that faster approach, um, it felt the right thing at that time. Um, for us, it was a, a big step away from Beyond the Red Mirror, which was good. And at the same time, it felt so authentic for, for that harsh time of, of Corona. Um, uh, yeah, and we had the time to, as I said, to, to play with a band and then you automatically um, wouldn't play the more epic songs. You would probably go for something more, more straight. And that's what we did. And um, so we had more and more songs of that kind and we said yeah let's let's try to have an album which is um in that direction um and we were sure that um, after violent shadows um we were sure that uh, this would be uh accepted or liked by our fans of course um but the main thing um was that that it was just um yeah leaving the whole orchestra thing behind us for now because um we wanted we wanted something different and we wanted to surprise people and i think that probably people expected that we continue in a kind of um beyond the red mirror way which we didn't and yeah we are always a surprise good for a surprise i would say yeah, and I was just about to say that too, is uh, another reason why I love Blind Guardian so much is with every album cycle, I don't know what to expect. Is it going to be more progressive? Is it going to be more speed metal? Is it going to be more orchestral? 
you yeah. you just don't know a blind guardian and i love the fact that you're constantly aware of that you're constantly wanting to do something different and do something meaningful as well too yeah. because you hear that with every song here like there's yeah, exactly. so much emotion that's going on with with the lyrics and the melodies and the riffs everything that's going on it's just it's that full rich experience and while it is hearkening back to a lot of the speed metal moments there's so many moments that hit so hard right now in 2022 with the movements and the the lyrics and everything that's going exactly. on that just hits you so hard yeah exactly and um yeah that's that's why this the vibe of the album really fits at the time and of course we we always try to do music that fits in the in the time spirit we don't want to be an, an let's say old school band that that uh, is trying to to copy the 80s or 90s uh, stuff that's not not what we want to do we need progression and um, we think that there's still ways to to deliver good speed metal stuff or um um going into complete new genres like we did with uh, life beyond the spears we uh, we left our comfort zone let's say and and try to do something cyberpunkish something that could be a space something soundtrack you know and um and that is what we need to figure out new things um and um bring it to to the level that we can say, okay, it has the same quality in that direction, like we achieved with other songs um, in different um, musical directions. And um, that is the challenge. Destiny, for example, um, I really left my my usual guitar work behind and, and tried to come up with completely new techniques and things that I tried to create uh, to make it sound completely different from the guitars and and i think it does and that's why this song is pretty extraordinary um yeah but things like this makes it interesting try out and and even bringing speed metal into this time and make it sound modern um is a, is a challenge because there's many many good bands that that play really brutal songs and it's awesome and of course, um, when we did Somewhere Far Beyond or Imaginations, we were one of the first and and there was not, not a big competition because <laughs> what we did was great and that was it. And now um, you need to compete with all the other bands. They are there, they are doing great stuff. And um, so you need to, to have, yeah, if you write a speed metal song, it needs to be really kick-ass or you will fail. That's it. Oh, it, it, it's so true. And again, I can't say it enough, you know, just like every genre that you hit, every new territory that you hit on this album just feels like you nailed it out of the park. And it's just, it. I, I love the fact, you know, just like over these years uh, creating this album that you are constantly trying to uh, work on new things. Like you mentioned with Destiny, which I feel is a, such a perfect closer for the album. Yeah. <laughs> and the fact that you did push yourself so hard to be able to try to come up with new ideas to be able to write music. I, you know, after all this time, you could rest on your laurels and just make the same music over and over again, but you choose not to. And I love yeah. that. Yeah, it's, it's a challenge that that keeps us running, uh, leaving the comfort zone from time to time and try out new things. That is for me, the essential thing of be, a thing of being a musician. I mean, we have the privilege to live a life like this, and I, I want to make best use of this and and deliver you know it's not just <laughs> saying okay we are getting older so we can be calm no it's, it's not it's not the way i mean i f i feel heavy metal i live heavy metal all my life i did this and and i need this kick for myself i need to like this album myself if it's not kicking me it will kick no one that's just the rule <laughs> oh, and in speaking of that as well, too, I mean, obviously, with a lot of changes that has been going on with the band being able to explore new territory, all of these great things audibly, visually, you also change things up as well, too, because I love what's going on with the new album cover. I just I feel like it really fits uh, the entire structure of the album so well. And it was it's cool to see this new chapter of album covers that's going on with the band. Yeah, it, it, uh, let's say the album cover was the last step to make really clear we want to um, 
we want to write a new chapter in Blind Guardian. We, we changed uh, the whole attitude of the music uh, in a way. Um, and we have a different sound uh, with Jos van der Broek. Uh, it's, it's, uh, all these details um, that make it really uh, uh, different from um, um, Beyond the Red Mirror. And um, we, want, we would like that the people are aware of this and um, that they can see it with the first look when they see the cover, they need to know, okay, there, something happened there and we need to figure out what it is. And then probably they will see, okay, it's, it's uh, lots of energy there, lots of fast songs and also a different sound, um, which I like pretty much. And I think probably at, at that moment, we realized that we really went far away from, from the previous years um, because this, the whole sound concept is so different, the mixing. Um, but I think it fits very, very well to the energy of the songs. And, and for me, this is the perfect mix. Um, yeah, and adding a brutal cover, which has also the, the, the dynamic. I mean, that, that figure um, has the, this kind of aggressive dynamic that we have in the songs. And um, when, we, when we saw it, um, we immediately fell in love because um, we were, were checking out um, uh, Pete's artwork and um, the original plan was, okay, he will paint something for us, um, which he did actually, but um, still that artwork was, a, we, we knew that was a one of a lifetime shot and then we knew that we wanted this one <laughs> so so we asked him and we talked to him and he said well um i used it already for several several things and we said we don't care we don't care this is our music we need this <laughs> and he said okay let's do it <laughs> so so we choose this and um yeah he painted another wonderful um a painting for us which is in the booklet um but i think this one really nails it. This is exactly what we needed for our music. And now the, the whole album is a really round thing. Oh, that, that just makes me so excited to hear that too, because that figure is just so perfect. I mean, it looks like he's just about to spill so much blood, like he's about yeah. to go into this chaos. And yeah. it, now that you mentioned like the other artwork that goes into the album, like I'm so excited to be able to pick that up and just like flip through and just see the other artwork that goes along with it. Because if this is just the album cover, I know the rest of the artwork is just going to look incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really um, incredible. And um I'm sure that um, yeah, we will we will work uh, in the future together. He's a great artist, and um, uh, I think yeah, this album cover is for sure one of my favorites. I mean, I I really love the old um, Andreas Marshall um, artworks as well, um, but for this time now, I think this one really hits it. So we are all very happy, and of course, yeah, the booklet will will show you some more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. So, I mean, we got to cover a lot of ground here talking about this new album and gotten to talk about the artwork, the new direction that of what's going on. Obviously, with a, a bit of time before the album comes out, I mean, we're talking about this uh, well ahead of time, uh, 2nd of September through Nuclear Blast. Uh, what should people be looking forward to? I mean, what's also going to be going on with Blind Guardian going on in the future? Um, well, um, until the release, we will... Um, we will show you more videos. Um, we will release more songs. Um, we we produced. I mean, we, we used the time because Corona is, was there and um, or still is, and and bands couldn't work like usual. So we said, okay, we we do not want to waste all that time. So let's produce some videos. We are living in a multimedia times. There's YouTube and. And I like to add a visual aspect to the songs. Um, so yeah, there will be more video releases. Um, of course, we are now in the festival tour. We just came from uh, Hellfest, um, had a great day, day there and, and celebrated the Somewhere Far Beyond album with our fans. 
um, yeah, perfect day. Um, we we have more many more festivals in the summer, and in September, uh, we finally play uh, the Somewhere Far Beyond tour, which was original uh, original scheduled. Uh, uh, yeah, a year or one and a half years before, but uh, we all know why it is like this, and um, people bought the tickets to see the Somewhere Far Beyond album, so we will play it, of course, and um, the program, the tour program, which was um, original planned for the new album, will only happen in 23, uh, so we will only play a bunch of new songs um, in 23. And yeah, we hope we can book uh, a kind of world tour uh, for next year, but everything is still so, let's say, fr fragile um, that we are very careful. Um, it's, not, uh, it's not easy right now. Um, all the bands are touring um, um, and at the same time, uh, the, the fans are facing hard times. I mean, um, nobody is earning more money all of a sudden, but now there's, instead of one band, there's three bands touring and who can who can go to all these shows? It's, it's insane what's going on right now. So um, I hope that, that we will find a little bit better situation in 23 and that we will not get any more lockdowns uh, that would really hit the culture scene and the music scene very hard. Um, we are now already facing, uh, uh, let's say, infrastructure problems. Um, it's very, very difficult to find technicians and stuff. So, um, but we are, we are still positive. Uh, we would like to tour all the countries like, like we used to do. And um, then, yeah, we would, uh, tour in 23 again um we also um were really really busy in our studio and um but i cannot tell too much about it because now the focus is of course on the new album but um uh, let's say the somewhere far beyond anniversary is delayed and we will come up with something sooner or later for this album as well um, and then have a little birthday party with the Somewhere Far Beyond. Oh, all of that just makes me so excited, and I can't wait to see what you guys have planned uh, specifically with that. And, uh, of course, uh, with all the live touring and uh, the festival shows and everything that will be coming up in 2023, I mean, obviously with the safety precautions and making sure everyone's yeah. safe and yeah. making sure that the fans are able to go, I love the fact that you're still celebrating Somewhere Far Beyond. I love the fact that you're going to be celebrating the new album next year. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to be able to see you again when you come back to the States and you come back to Minnesota. I can't wait to hear these My new dream. songs. I can't live. wait. Yeah. I can't wait to come back to the States. I want. <laughs> <laughs> really. I mean, uh, as you probably know, I mean, the States are my second home. I'm I'm so often in Florida. I love it. And um, uh, yeah, I'm really missing touring the States. I really, really miss it. And I hope we will get the opportunity soon and put together a really strong billing. Um to get on the road there um yeah it's i'm just waiting for this you know <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really about it's about time yeah <laughs> oh absolutely it's it's been too long since i've i've gotten the chance to be able to see you guys and i just i can't wait to be able to again and w with that i thank you so very much for taking the time to be able to talk to me about everything that's going on in the world it was Garden. a great interview thank you so much Oh, thank and I, you. And I and I really appreciate that what you said about the new album. I really do. It's it's like, oh yeah, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely. I I can easily say it's gonna uh, when I do my year end stuff and I talk about the best albums of the year. Blind Guardian is gonna be somewhere near the top, if not wow, at the cool. top. And I I wow. mean that from the bottom of my heart. I love this album. Wow. I loved being able to talk to you about everything that's going on. Of course, the God Machine coming out the second of September through Nuclear Blast. This has been an absolute joy, and I thank you so very much for taking the time to be able to talk to me about everything. Thank you so much. Yes, really cool. Thank <laughs> you.